firefighters were busy overnight and made good use of their new high water vehicles. They had to use those to get people out of the high water overnight. Channel 2's Haley Hernandez is live in North Houston with a look at those rescues. Good morning, Haley. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, I just want to show you what it looks like right now. You see there are cars going through the water at this moment. We have seen some cars starting to pass, but when we first got here, there were four cars sitting on this feeder road, just totally floating in the water. I'll point one out over here to you. This is a brand new Camaro. You see that water dripping right out of that car. They just pulled it out, but I'm telling you, it was floating along this feeder road. That's how deep the water is. Firefighters say that it was about um, a foot to maybe three feet in some of the areas we saw about four cars here this is the West Mount Houston and I-45 feeder road which is about a block from Greens Bayou we know that Greens Bayou did go above its banks last night which did lead to the flooding here and the Houston Fire Department says their units arrived to find a lot of vehicles in the water and while filming we even saw one small car drive straight into it the driver said he didn't even see the water you know when it's dark out here it's pretty hard to see that water looks just like a black road HFD high water rescue vehicle had to come to rescue of one of the drivers and that vehicle by the way is one of nine new high water rescue trucks as Sophia just mentioned they belong to the city now for this very reason and I know this area is one to repeatedly flood so they're certainly uh, it's it's this is the first time they're getting to use them since uh, since we got them we had one during Harvey now we have nine probably going to be put to some good use here guys reporting live I'm Haley Hernandez KPRC channel 2 news All right Haley glad they got there in time thank you